Welcome to our channel Master Mathematics. Today's topic is quadratic equation 10th standard. From this chapter you have get 8 marks from board examiner. So you have to focus on this uh, uh, quadratic equation chapter. Okay. It is very much important. Okay. Before going to start our main aim is to achieve 90 plus. So I can help you to achieve 90 plus in your board examination. Let us start today's class. By the method of completing square, show that 4x square plus 3x plus y equal to 0 has no real roots. From here, given a quadratic equation, we have to show that it has no real roots. So, uh, using the method completing the square. So, using this completing the square method, we have to prove this uh, quadratic equation has no real roots. So, how to do? Already I have done the how to do the completing the square method. We know if a quadratic equation uh, is a form ax square plus bx plus z is equal to a quadratic equation. So in this quadratic equation how to do the completing the square means if the coefficient of x square is uh, not a, a is not equal to a not equal to 1 means uh, First of all, we have to divide the quadratic equation by a. Then we have to, next step, we have to write x square plus bx equal to z. That's a step. Then third step, we have to add x square plus bx plus b by 2 the whole square on both sides. Then we get the left side of the quadratic equation is a perfect square. Then taking the square root, then it will get the uh, roots. That like only you are doing the completing the square methods. Okay. From here given quadratic equation is 4x square plus 3x plus y equal to 0. So from here 4x square plus 3x plus 5 equal to 0 is a quadratic equation. See this. That means a is not equal to 1. That is a is equal to 4. So we have to first of all divide this quadratic equation throughout 4. So then here that means 4x square by 4 plus 3x by 4 plus 5 by 4 is equal to 0. So next up, this 4, 4 be cancelled. The next step is x square plus 3x by 4 plus 5 by 4 is equal to 0. Next we have to write x square plus bx is equal to c the form. So we have to write x square plus 3x by 4 is equal to minus 5 by 4. So this is the form of x square plus bx is equal to c. What is the next step? Next step means uh, the b by 2 whole square. b by 2 whole square is adding both sides of this equation. What is here b? b is equal to b by 3 by 4. So b square. So that is equal to b, b, b is 3 by 4. So b by 2 is equal to 3 by 4 into 2. That is equal to 3 by 8. So b by 2 whole square. That is equal to 3 by 8 whole square. Adding on both sets. So what is this? Next uh, x square plus 3 by 4 x plus 3 by 8 whole square is equal to minus 5 by 4 plus 3 by 8 whole square. So from here uh, look at this equation. This is x square plus 3 by 4 x plus 3 by 8 whole square. That means the left side will become a perfect square. That is a square plus 2ab plus b square. Here a is x. Okay. b is 3 by 8. Okay. We have to check this. So 2ab. What is 2ab? 2 is 2 into a is x and b is 3 by 8. 2 and 8 will be cancelled 4. So 3 by 4 x. So it is correct. So the left side become, what is a plus b the whole square? Yes, that means uh, x plus, x plus 3 by 8 whole square is equal to from here minus 
5 by 4 plus 3 square is 9 by 64. So again we have to do the right side is a fraction taking LCM. Then 64 is a LCM that means minus 5 into 60 plus 9. Left side x plus 3 by 8 whole square. Okay. From this doing this LCM we have to get here minus uh, 80 plus 9 divided by 64. What is minus 80 plus 9? So minus 71 by 64. So that implies x plus 3 by 8 whole square is equal to this value. That means again what is the next step taking the square root. That means uh, this is square root means uh, so square root of x plus 3 by 8 uh, whole square is equal to square root of minus 71 by 64. That is this square and square root will be cancelled. Then x plus 3 by 8 is equal to plus or minus square root of minus 71 by 64. So from this we know that is the negative values. That means the negative values means there is no real roots. So we have to prove x have no real roots. Because here got the square roots. That's the square root of minus value. So it have no real roots. So how you uh, understand how to do the completing the square method. Okay, if you given one quadratic equation, how to do completing the square and find the roots of the equation. Okay, so I hope you all understood this problem. This type of problem is very much important. So you should practice. In your textbook so many problems have you have to practice if you have any doubts please message me i will clarify you okay our main aim is to achieve 90 plus in your board examination so i can help you so keep watching if you see my channel first time please subscribe and press the bell button then only you can get the more notification from my channel so thank you for watching thank you to all see you then bye bye